After the Armenian genocide a century ago, many refugees settled in the Twin Cities. Now their stories of survival are finally being told. Armenia is a country between Turkey and Georgia. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrenson takes us to the Museum of Russian Art and to an exhibit that is sure to educate and inspire. The first survivor of the Armenian genocide arrived in Minnesota in 1919. Just over 100 years ago, our state and country were engaged in the First World War. And while many Minnesotans rushed to the front lines, people in other parts of the world were fleeing oppression and persecution. But 1.5 million people died in the Armenian genocide as a result of, of violence against Armenian people who were ethnically different, who were Christian minority living in the Turkish Empire. Today, about a thousand people of Armenian descent live in the Twin Cities. They are all descendants of genocide survivors who made it through death marches and slavery, while many of their loved ones did not. The wounds are so deep that even 100 years later, uh, they have not nearly enough healed. As a way to help heal those wounds, photographer Artyom Tanoyan began to photograph descendants and tell their stories. And this is Sam Chartian. This is Margaret Vartanian, um, also a child of survivors. Uh, the hands are those of Judy Ohanesian. Started taking photos of my kids, ended up doing this. It's a labor of love that's now on display at the Museum of Russian Art. It's called The Treasures of Memory and Hope. Artyom teaches a class about the genocide at the U of M. His grandmother and grandfather were the only survivors from their respective families, and they met in the Armenian city of Gimri as kids. The city was known as the city of orphans at one point. That orphanage housed 40,000 orphans, and my grandparents were two of those. One of the people featured in the exhibit is Caroline Yulatello. My grandmother was actually enslaved until my grandfather bought her from her owner for two gold coins. She came to the U.S. with just a brush and a comb. She used to refer to them as, this is all I have left from my old life. Today, Caroline keeps those family treasures close, a reminder of the sacrifices her grandmother made so she could have a better life in Minnesota. My grandmother used to say they can take everything from you except what's in your mind. So going from a grandmother who had absolutely nothing, not even clothes, who was a slave, to having a PhD from a top university in the world, it's all through education. It's a testament to the resilience of the human soul. Something they hope people of all backgrounds and creeds can learn from. We hope that when people read all these stories, they'll be inspired, they'll have courage and hope to continue going and to continue living and creating a new life for themselves and their families. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The treasures of memory and hope will be on display at the Museum of Russian Art through Tuesday. Then it will travel to the University of Minnesota in September. If you're interested in seeing the exhibit, just check out a link on WCCO.com.